Projects are about people and we need to find effective ways to communicate with our project team and our different stakeholders. Now whilst email as a distribution mechanism is very efficient, we find ourselves overloaded with the number of emails we receive. Audio conferences have certainly helped in improving communication where we have people from around the world or around the UK dialing in to a single telephone number from which we can all contribute to a discussion. But audio conferencing has its limitations and for those of you who have been on an audio conference when two or three people start speaking then it becomes confusing. More recently the use of video conferencing has enabled us to dialogue in a much more efficient and effective way. We can see the people and that helps us in understanding who's about to talk and also who is talking. Furthermore, by seeing individuals when we put the face to the voice I think it creates a much more human approach. The use of screen shares which is available in Webex, it's available in Skype and in Google Hangouts, all of which offer us video capabilities for video conference means that we can then go through documentation and we can make explanations in a way that really wasn't possible through just audio conferences. Now the cost of the technology is not prohibitive. Webcams come at a few pounds and the internet is readily available with good bandwidth so we should be able to do these things both from within the office and for those of you who live in homes where you've got high bandwidth availability then to work from home. So in summary, I think that the use of video conferencing is now taking over from audio conferencing. It offers a much more human approach and by seeing people and seeing their mannerisms we can also perhaps bring a little levity to conversations in a way that we couldn't do before.